Hi, it's Jeff down at the Guitar Shop. Um, just uh, doing a video, you know, customers for customers video. Um, um, one of the questions I hear a lot um, is what uh, what uh, capo should I buy? Um, I've had quite a few, and I'm going to show you some of I got here, and I hear a lot of people asking for because they just you know what's the best one to get. So. Um, it's not so much what is the best one to get, but what is the best one that's going to fit your needs. Um, and I'd say that. So we do have, um, I've you know, got, there's one here that's in the, the, the guitar store here. Um, this is a basic you know, Jim Dunlop capo. It's a little, a little strap on it. Um, now, most people will say, oh, this is cheap. It's not, you know, it's not good. Well, it's not really true. Um, you know, this one is actually quite good, you know, toggle capo. Um, what you do is you just, it's good you can set it up and it, but you gotta have two hands to it you gotta clip it on um do it and if you change if you go up and down the guitar neck a lot um this is kind of painful because you have to readjust it to different sizes um so that's kind of can be a pain but if you got three guitars and you tend to always do it always on the same um you know on the same fret um adjust it to each of the guitars different one keep it in each guitar case and and that's actually going to be a good deal and it'll cost the, you know, the cost of one single one um a, a more expensive one so it's but these are pretty precise for for the need of but you know like i said you got two hands got to readjust it where you're going to play on the guitar and to, and to different guitars when the next next guitars are not always same width same size and all that um the other one um, this is a Shubes uh, guitar uh, capo, which I've had for 30 years. This thing is just, you can't destroy it. Um, it's, it's great. It, again, does require to have two hands to hold it, uh, to do on it, but you can, you adjust it with a little, uh, get a little um, uh, screw here and adjust where you want to go and stuff. You can do it. But it's, it, the nice thing is you um, put on, clip it in there, snap it, and you get, um, and it's got a little, like the soft, the, the, the plastic, or not the plastic, the, actually, the rubber here is really nice. Um, it doesn't seem to detune your guitar, so kind of twist the, the, the strings at all um, when you're, so it doesn't get them out of tune when you've moved it up one or two. Um, so it's gonna keep the, it's gonna keep the tuning. Um, if you move it up and down, even to the fourth, it's gonna keep that tuning still tuned. Um, whereas some of good, um, with cheaper ones, you're going to get it, it's actually to, it's going to move one of the strings out of tune and then you have to kind of retune it while it's already got the capo on there. Now, um, um, this one I really like um, because it's pretty precise um, and you just can't, but the problems of course are if you I do a lot of moving up and down of the neck to put in the song and all that, so it's kind of a pain to, to do it. You're gonna be you know, doing this all by hand, two hands, and you can't attach the guitar anywhere. Um, so you gotta be to put it in your pocket. You can lose it and all that. that so this, so there's some inconvenience as well, and it's some advantages. Um, so there's um, that's one type of tuner. Um, now the other types um, are these um, these uh, kind of uh, clip-on. Um, uh, type of type styles here. Um, these ones are are nice because what you can do is you can just squeeze it, clip it on, and uh, and uh, and then you can move up one more and move it up another one, and it will adjust to the width of the guitar, the size of the, the size of the um, uh, the uh, the neck. Now the only thing you want to look for these and for other types is is um I've got two of them here. I got two different ones. Is uh, putting one of these. One's going to be a little bit wider than the other one. Um, so this is for more of a classical guitar and some 12 strings. And also this one's straighter than this one's got a little curve in it. So this curve, what tends to be for electric guitars and for uh, the acoustic electric and acoustic guitars, whereas the, the straight one's going to be for the classic. So make sure that you look at this when you're when you're um, you look at the capo. Get the right one that's going to go with the guitar that you're going to be uh, using. So um, and then uh, we got some of them um, seen here. The the new Jim Lynn Alamats. These are whoops. Down, dropped it. Um, this one's got a lot, even hard, a lot more, um, a lot more clip to it, so it's gonna hold a lot tighter. Um, and uh, but what I found on this one here is this guitar uh, type of uh, capo is good for acoustic, acoustic electric guitars, but um, found that that's less uh, good for electric guitars. So. Um, so just, you've got to be careful with flipping them, taking them off too. When you take them off, they kind of pop off a little bit sometimes. Um, so the electric guitars, um, one that I don't have, but I've seen, um, I know you can order them a lot, is the G7 uh, capos. Those are really nice because kind of the clamp on, well, it's not a clamp, it's kind of like a, 
um, the setup I had that um, we just, you set it up, set it, and you just kind of push it down and cl clamp it yourself here. But again, you got to have two fingers to do this, so, or two hands to do it. Um, but that seems to be really good for electric guitars as well. So these are a few of the different types of um, capos you can get. Um, again, there's not really one best capo. Um, just really look at what your needs are. So the needs to consider are, um, do you have one guitar that you always put in the single guitar? Or one capo might do for everything. Um, do you have several guitars uh, or not? So you want to think about if you want one or several for that. Do you pl plan to play or do you tend to play in the same place in the neck? on a single guitar or multiple guitars, um, or do you tend to need to move it up and down the neck because you're playing in different keys a lot. Um, so in that case, you know, more of a, a kind of this, the, um, the single-handed, uh, you know, um, uh, ones where you get the um, um, uh, pinch ones, all that, are really good for that. So um, depending on those needs, then it's the best thing to, to get a uh, guitar capo that goes along with those needs. So I um, hope that helps you make your uh, decision on what guitar capo is good for you. Okay, have a good day, thanks.